Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jonathan and I've been traveling a lot, whether it was for a personal vacation or to cover an event. And each time I travel, I have to pack and unpack my gear in whatever bag I decide to bring. So without further ado, this is what's in my travel bag version 1.0. So first things first, the bag is the Tilt Energy Pro. Now they actually have two different models of this bag. They have the standard energy backpack and then they have the Energy Pro backpack. The difference is the fact that this one comes with a 20,100 milliamp hour battery. And to me, it just looks a hell of a lot better. It's very clean and it has a very, uh, you know, slick sense of style, not looking too techy or too nerdish, I guess. It kind of looks like a school backpack. However, it maintains all the functionality of, you know, a backpack with a built-in battery. Now you can pick up the Tilt Energy Pro backpack for 130 bucks on a Indiegogo campaign. Uh, so you go ahead and put your money down and once it's available, they'll ship it to you. 130 bucks for this backpack is not bad at all. Before we dive into exactly what's in the bag and how it's being held there, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why the heck I have a tripod hanging out the back of the backpack. Well, here's the thing. Tilt has actually incorporated something called a trolley pouch on the back, which is actually like a little pocket that you use to hook the backpack onto your luggage whenever you're traveling through an airport. So that way you don't have to lug this thing on your back. It's extremely useful. However, what's more useful is the fact that that same little pouch can hold your monopod or your tripod if you're a creator like me. Super awesome. Now what I have is the Enduro CLT-103, which is a small travel photography tripod, but it has a center column that can raise up and down and combined with the Benro S7, it's an incredibly lightweight, very stable, tripod combination. So bouncing back to the front portion of the backpack, in the very first zippered pocket, I have my red tool. Now I've mentioned this in the past in my other what's in my camera bag or what's in my bag style video, and it's a multi-tool pretty much. It has like a flathead screwdriver, a bunch of hex keys and Allen keys, and also a Phillips head. Now right above that, there's like a little magnetic enclosure. And in this enclosure, I typically rock whatever device I'm reviewing or extra device or device is that I have on me. Now at this given point in time, I have the Huawei Mate 9, and then I also have the Google Pixel, which is done in a Slick Wraps natural hemp style skin, and it looks and feels fantastic. In fact, it kind of resembles like a snake skin almost, but uh, definitely recommended if you like this type of texture on your phone. So right above that is a pocket that looks just like a camera. So you could probably guess what I'm going to have in here. However, due to the padded lining and the super soft fabric, you can put whatever it is that you want in here that you might feel uh, could get broken in another pocket, such as like reading glasses, sunglasses, a gaming device, anything like that. It's going to be super safe inside of here. And there's even like a little divider. So you could have like maybe your glasses on one side and then a PS Vita on the other. But for me, I'm rocking my Canon 5D Mark IV because that's just my camera of choice whenever I'm on the road because it does everything well. Actually, it does everything really well or really good and you can't beat Canon colors and plus the low light sensitivity on this camera is still excellent. Now, what's really cool about this backpack with that uh, compartment where I'm holding my camera is the fact that I can run a cable from the battery into this pocket so I can charge my camera whenever I'm traveling. Now, right above that is another pocket. They say it's hidden, but it's pretty well noticeable. Um, it's very small, but I use this to put my passport, my wallet, credit cards, any information that I feel is um, extremely secure and private because it has an RFID lining inside, so you don't have to worry about people stealing your information, and it's gonna give you a sense of security with some fraud protection. Now, speaking of wallets, the wallet that I'm currently using is from Nomad, and it actually has a built-in battery in it, and the battery is relatively small, but it's going to give you enough juice until you get to you know, a wall charger, and it's really, really convenient, I mean, I mean, you always have your wallet on you. Now, above that pocket is another super padded 
um, little area that you can put like a tablet or a you know small laptop. Now for me, I'm rocking a 12 inch MacBook, again with a slick wrap skin. This time it's the Alicantra series and I absolutely love this series. Um, the feel of it is like a velvet or suede and the color blue on this thing just pops and it's definitely me. Okay, so now it's time to dive a little bit deeper and now we're going to get into the larger pockets. Now the very first one is right there on the front and inside here I am rocking a freaking drone. Yeah, this is the GDU Bird Advanced Drone and I have a review of this one and their premium model coming soon. So make sure you give this video a like and subscribe so you don't miss that. It's very convenient, very portable. It doesn't add a lot of bulk and it's easily tucked inside this bag. So really, really awesome. Now on the back side of this interior pocket are several smaller pockets, like um, there's one that you could probably put like an ID or something like that in. However, I'm not really utilizing those, but the two larger ones on the back side, I am. And I have my Schneider ND filter, which is a variable ND filter. Now next to that, I have my, uh, you know, drone remote control smartphone or tablet mount. Now on the flap, there are two zippered pockets. Now the first one, I have all of my cleaning utensils that I need for like my lenses and my cameras. Now right below that is another zippered pocket where I have all of my lens adapters. Um, they allow me to mount my um, Schneider variable ND onto all of my lenses. Okay, so jumping into the largest pocket on the bag, the very first thing I have is the lens that I'm bringing with me. That lens is the Canon 24 70 f4. Now some of you guys are wondering, well, why not the f2.8? It's sharper, it's brighter. I'm gonna give you three reasons. Reason number one, portability and size. I mean, look at this thing. It is super compact, especially when you compare it to like the 16 to 35 F4 or even the F2.8. Reason number two is optical image stabilization. Reason number three is the fact that this lens has a little trick up its sleeve. There's actually a button that you can hold and then it's going to go into like a macro mode. And that's really awesome. So you can actually get a close up of your subject using a macro feature built into the 24 to 70. Next up, we have like a little pouch that Tilt actually included with the bag. Now I'm sure some of you guys are thinking, so what, it's just a pouch. Well, for people like me, this is actually extremely well thought out. Now, if you have like a lot of chargers you need to bring with you when you travel, you can put them all inside this little pouch. For me, I put like my laptop charger in here, my phone charger, my SD cards, my CFast cards, my CFast reader, as well as my little think tank pouch here that holds all of my camera batteries. So it's just, just an extra benefit of buying this bag and something that Tilt really put some you know, attention to detail in. Inside the larger pocket that we're in right now is actually like a little netted sleeve. And inside that netted sleeve, I have a Porter Brace bag. This is where I keep all of my audio equipment. Now for me, I'm rocking two Juice Link Little Darlings, which I have a good review coming up soon on these. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you're a creator like me, you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this video because these things are freaking fantastic. I also have a wireless transmitter that will allow me to control these recorders no matter where I'm at without having to press any buttons on the recorder. Really awesome. Again, expect a full review coming very soon. For my microphone of choice, I'm rocking the DPA 4061 Nequist microphone. I mentioned this before in the past. I absolutely love this mic. When it comes to sound quality, this is pretty much the best you're gonna get from any lav mic. Now, what I really like about this mic though is the fact that it's extremely easy for placement. Of course, you get like a laptop compartment inside this larger pocket. And for me, I'm rocking the 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro and it still has my toast skin on it from like a year ago just because I love this thing and it still has not gotten old. Okay, so now that all the larger portions of this bag are taken care of and we've gone over them, let's go ahead and start with the side compartments. Now on the left-hand side, you have like a little zippered pocket and inside here, you're gonna find the 20,100 milliamp hour battery, as well as all the threaded cables that are going throughout this bag. Okay, so moving to the right-hand side, you have another smaller zippered pocket here. And this is where I keep my GoPro Hero 5 Black. Now the reason why I have a GoPro is for the drone because the gimbal that I have for this drone houses like GoPro style action cameras. And really the Hero 5 Black has amazing quality. So why wouldn't I use this camera? Now behind that is an even smaller pocket that houses a standard USB cable. Now this is how you're going to charge the bag. So it would be smart 
to just take a wall adapter you might have lying around the house and just connect it to that USB cable and tuck it away. That way you don't have to hunt for an extra wall adapter whenever you're on the road. You don't have to open up your bag, period. Just unzip that one little compartment, plug it into the wall, and boom, you're charging your backpack. Now you can also charge all the devices that are connected to that battery while it is plugged into the wall. So just plug in your bag, connect all your devices, leave them in the bag, wake up in the morning, and your bag and all your stuff should be charged. Now, of course, it's going to take much, much longer than just charging the battery on the bag, but um, it's definitely doable. Finally, we have the last pocket. Now the last pocket is located on the left shoulder strap at the very bottom. Now coming straight out of the box or straight out of the bag, Tilt incorporates a micro USB cable inside this pocket. Now I just left that there because I'll probably use that um, at some point, whether it's charging a camera or a phone or a tablet, but I also tucked a pair of headphones in this pocket. The headphones that I'm using are the ones that LG sent me with the V20, and they are really, really good for, um, you know, vocals and monitoring um, the audio coming out of a camera or doing some video editing. The last thing I want to quickly cover is the box that is attached to the shoulder strap. This is the gimbal that I use with my drone and I don't want it to get crushed or ruined or broken or anything like that. So I just attach it to the strap. It stays out of my way and it doesn't bother me whenever I'm walking or traveling. Like I said in the beginning, the Tilt Energy Pro backpack gives you pockets for days. So it's great for item storage. It's amazing for portability, gives you excellent functionality and it looks good doing everything. For more information on the Tilt Energy Pro backpack as well as any of the items I mentioned in this video, hit up the links in the description below as I listed all of the items that I did talk about. Make sure you go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it as it does help me out. And while you're at it, subscribe and then subscribe to the notifications so you don't miss future videos. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and of course I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Be easy.